Hey folks, welcome to another hopefully quick video, that's my intention. Just wanted to show you something interesting. So, some time ago I talked about the transactional outbox pattern and if you didn't check it out, now is a good time to do it. So, but very quickly, it's a pattern to help us achieve reliability when doing like business transactions on, on a service that wants to then send messages to other services. And one of the approaches, which is the one I probably talked about uh, more in that case, because I was using a SQL database, is to have a table where we put uh, our messages instead of sending them directly to the broker. So in the same transaction, we can save our changes and put them in uh, outbox table. And it's the outbox pattern name. So there are alternatives when using uh, NoSQL databases and stuff like that, but I was focusing and will do again on the SQL side of things. So in that case, when I implemented the publisher, so the thing that reads from the table and then publishes it, I used uh, polling. So I just created a service that every 30 seconds or so would go to the, the table and check, is there something new? If there is, let's publish. Otherwise, let's continue. So I just wanted to create this quick video just to present you some alternatives. In this one, I will focus on an existing tool. In a future video, I will try to show you how we could implement such a tool if we wanted. But the idea is, instead of using polling, is making use of the transaction log of our database. In this case, I'm using Postgres, so I'll be using the write-ahead log, or whatever it's called. And instead of doing polling and checking that table, we can be listening to things that happen on the transaction log, and when something happens to that table, we can immediately grab it and send them. And to, to show this in action, I use an existing tool called Debezium, or Debezium, or I don't know how, how to pronounce it. So I'll call it Debezium. Hopefully I'm not too far off. And it's basically a tool which works with Kafka. So it's a Kafka Connect uh, tool using this, these APIs from Kafka and can be used to connect to Kafka either as a target, so reading things from the database and sh sending them to Kafka, or as a, uh, or vice versa, so using Kafka as a source and then storing things in the database. In our case, as we want to implement the outbox pattern, we will do uh, Kafka as a target and our database as the source. So Debezium has out of the box uh, connector for, for Postgres, and does what I mentioned, it hooks up to the write ahead log and reads things that happen and pushes them to Kafka. As I said, I, this is just to show you a possibility, so this won't be a tutorial. It's just to show you that there are other options and you should consider all the options and probably this is more performant than the polling approach I, I did last time, but still it's, it's interesting to know more than one approach. It so happens that Debezium has like an implementation, like because we can do transformations when we route things from the database to Kafka and vice versa. So we can have multiple types of transformations and uh, Debezium has out of the box, uh, outbox event router transformation, which will, is expecting some things. So it's expecting the table to have some, some shape and it will read it and we can tweak it a bit and then uh, read it, transform and put in Kafka. So that's what we will be using. So let's take a look at some code uh, over here. So I had something more convoluted, I simplified. So we just have a couple of background workers, one sending or better yet, saving messages to the database and the other consuming them. So not much else there. So we have an events project, which basically have has the events, like order event base, or created, delivered, stuff like that. So I reused this from a previous pre presentation and has an event consumer and a Kafka implementation of it. Then we have the consumer, which as I said, is just a worker service. And over here we have the event consumer. Every time we get the message, just log information and not very imaginative, good enough for us to see this in action. And finally, we have the producer, 
again a worker in this case it uses the database and stores 1000 messages with random stuff in there and then saves them to the database and sleeps for 30 seconds before doing it again so it's always sending more 1000 messages besides this and again this is not production ready it's just for demo I have a hosted service that runs at the beginning of the application to initialize things the database and the Bezium. so we need to configure the Bezium to do what it needs to do and i have a json payload which i send so and when the application starts we just send it to see it in action and let's just take a very brief look at this as it's not the point but just a quick look so over here we need to configure the Bezium and as you can see i'm sending that i want to use the postgres connector uh, we're sending information like the connection string like postgres user password name of the, the database we are saying that we want to use the outbox messages table we are using the outbox transformation as i mentioned it's a built-in transformation uh, then we have a bunch of configurations this is basically to map our columns in the, in the database to the, um, the fields that the outbox transformation expects for example the id of the message so we can have always the same id the aggregate id which is will be used as the partition key for the for kafka so that all events related to the same aggregate so in this case the order will go to the same partition so can be uh, so the order in the events will be the same so if we have order created and order cancelled uh, created will be sent before the cancelled and other things bunch of other configurations stuff like that so not really relevant right now so let's see this in action to simplify things and you can try it yourself if you want have this docker compose so it starts with kafka stuff the keeper Kafka itself, control center for us to see things in action. Postgres, one important thing to note is that using Postgres, the default wall or write ahead log level is not enough because the default log level is enough only for Postgres to, to do its replication and stuff like that. But if we want to use tools like these, we need to increase the log level. And in this case, it's called logical. Then we are starting Divisium and also Seek just for us to see logs of things happening and then the producer and the consumer. So that's it. So let's take a look over here and let's do docker compose up. We'll click a bit and we'll see a barrage of logs of things happening. Let's wait a bit to be sure that it's working. Okay, it's storing things. I think it's working. So let's go over here. Let's open seek and make it follow. And we can see that events are happening. So order created, order delivered, order delivered, order delivered, created, stuff like that. So we are getting the messages. And if we go to over here, I never understand why it's so hard to go to control center it fails a lot probably because i didn't configure it well but okay is it http is it working now no one day I will understand. Oh, it's coming. Okay, so it's loading. We have topics. We have order events. You can see the messages. Jump to offset zero. No, not 20, zero. Okay, and things are happening. So if we stay here, we should stay. We should see things happening. So as you can see, it's working. We are not sending messages. We are just saving them in the database. But 
they are getting there so all good it's working and yeah as i said i i was just wanted to share with you this tool if you never heard of it as it seems to be more uh, known in the java community although we don't, we don't care it's just a tool that works and we can use it with other with any other technology and yeah but uh again not a tutorial just to make you aware that there are other options besides polling of course and uh yeah in the future video i will try to show you how we could build ourselves something like this not as uh not this itself but just the outbox part uh, not the Bizium because it does more things than just outbox but it's probably interesting so we could take a look at that if you're interested in that make sure you're subscribed and all those things so that you don't miss it and yeah hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one see yes hey one last thing before you go if this or any other of my videos was helpful consider dropping a like a comment a subscribe sharing and any other of those things that help a channel grow it would be super helpful thanks for watching see yes